Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button down below. We're back at Team Sport in Sheffield for our second of two of these crazy sessions. The first session, if you haven't watched the previous video, was so crashy and bumpy and spinny for everyone. There were a lot of interruptions. We were all called back to the briefing room at the end of the session and basically told, you've got one black flag warning, the second black flag, you're off the track. We're not having this again. So I've gone out there, I was last out onto the track, I left a bit of space, hoping maybe I can get one quick flying lap in before catching anyone else, um, but unfortunately there was a yellow flag at the end of my out lap, which meant everyone else had slowed down and I did catch the back of the car just before this ramp. Obviously any passes I'm doing, I'm taking extra caution on, I'm not taking any risks that are not necessary, and there's the first black flag for one car already. That's not a good start for them. I don't believe anybody did get kicked off the track, just that one or two had a single black flag. Obviously where I'm passing I'm trying to be extra cautious. I'm not taking any risks, so this first flying lap, this, or second flying lap now rather, is going to be just trying to find a way past this car number 11. If they go deep into too many hairpins, I'm going to sneak it up the inside. But I don't want to dive, so we'll just have to be patient and wait for a way past. It will come, I just need the patience. I get a little run up the ramp, but it's not quite enough. And I do just back out because I'm not sure how they're going to take this corner. They do take it tight. I could have actually stayed there, but I wasn't taking that risk, so it doesn't matter. Patience. There's another car ahead. Hopefully, that will cause some traffic for him. I get a run up this ramp here because I came out of that last hairpin fast and actually managed to get past both of them in one go. That's a nice pass. Very happy with that one. Into some yellow flags now then. Thankfully it's a very quick flag and we're back onto green again. But it is obviously enough to have ruined this lap for me. And now there's even more traffic ahead. I have no idea what was going on there. He went straight into those barriers. Interestingly, we didn't get a yellow or a red flag at all for that. So he either managed to get himself free or Marshall didn't spot. That board there was a good pass board, which I'm guessing was for the double pass up the hill, uh, up the ramp rather, not hill, ramp. So yeah, quick thumbs up to the Marshall there. And another pass going into this hairpin. Bit, a bit of space ahead, there's only that one cart, so we need to catch it, pass it, get on with it. So six or seven corners later and I've caught up too far behind to get a run up the ramp but he's checking out he's looking where I am doesn't need to do that because I'm far enough behind so we'll just keep putting the pressure on he will make a mistake and I will go past it's just a matter of when when someone's looking around behind themselves as often as this guy does they're just putting themselves off they are going to make a mistake so waiting for the patients. I click that inside barrier there slightly, but doesn't really affect the run out. Just need to keep on this guy. He's still looking around. Don't worry about me. Worry about your own driving. Otherwise you're going too fast into the corners. Or get the brakes completely wrong and lock up. I took all the avoiding action I could there. Um, 
I did mutter up the hill here. Something along the lines of, I hope I don't get a black flag for that. But there was no way I was going to get a black flag. The marshals would have very clearly seen that he just blocked up the brakes. Because that was down right by the downstairs pit where there are marshals based. So a 102 with that avoiding action, um, that kind of expected, but there is a clear run ahead, so let's see what we're able to do. Now there's a car to head there, but hopefully there's enough of a gap to at least finish this lap, it just really depends on how slow they are going. bump it along there, sort of wiggling the car, trying to get a bit of speed as we go up the ramp. feel that this should be a quick lap, but I'm out of my rhythm because I've not had a succession of fast laps yet, so let's see what we do. A low one minute, Ooh, not brilliant, but I know this next lap's not going to be fast, looking at all of that traffic ahead, that is far too many cars to make a clean lap. Just need to catch them and pass them and get on with it. So I've caught them. He caught me out there on the brakes. Not sure why he ran so deep into that section. But not really somewhere that I've seen people make mistakes, but he clearly did, got caught out by traffic or whatever. I got caught out by car 15 slightly on the brakes there. I had to lift off this he broke a little harder than I did. Just again making sure that any passes that I do don't involve contact, but he has locked up over the if you hit the brakes just as that ramp changes to a down. If the car goes light, you lose the rear brakes. They will just lock. You just need to be either before or after. But I seize an opportunity through there, straight through. I give away because I did make a little bit of contact. Yeah, saw a gap, went for it. Very happy with those passes as well. leave laps 9, 10 and 11 to play out. They were my fastest laps. They were three extremely consistent laps.
So there you go, three laps all within one tenth of a second, 59.7 and 259.8. They're not 58 and a half where I want to be, but that's not bad considering how this session's gone so far. Now I keep on it here, thinking I might get another lap in. So we just keep it nice and tight, keep that speed up, go for a fourth lap at the 59 seconds, not knowing what my laps are obviously. But no, we get this yellow flag. I have a habit, my hand always goes up anyway, even if I do slow. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure there's nothing behind me there. I've just spot the marshal waving the checkered flag, knowing my hopes of setting a fast lap were over. Not entirely sure why these two came to a stop. The flags were always yellow, they never went red. But there we go. As always, thanks very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, please hit that like button. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that it's a good video. And then please do comment down below as well. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.